Ankar Ben, thank you very much for sitting down here and talking to us. And uh, one last thing for our audience, where to start? Because I, uh, I know that this series is going to be watched by people who maybe they have doubted their religion, their political views, how they evaluate who is their friend, who is not, but they have not encountered objectivism for different reasons. So um, where to start? What would you recommend for people who are questioning themselves and trying to find, you know, a better philosophy into which live their lives? I mean, one of the things I always recommend is the novels of yeah. Ayn Rand and either The Fountainhead or Atlas. And I think they appeal to different people, particularly as like this is the first book you're going to read. Atlas is a thousand plus page, so it's yeah. long. It's grand scale about a whole society. Yeah. There's lots of characters. Yeah. A, the Fountainhead is a much more intimate story. Yeah. It's the story of Howard Rourke, an architect, his life, what it looks like to succeed at a very personal level. And you have, if, if, if that is like, that resonates much more with me, take the fountainhead. And if this kind of grand scale portrait of a whole society and yeah. the interactions of that and force, then we have this. That's where I started. Maybe it's because of the diplomat mentality. I'm thinking of <laughs> yeah, different yeah, nations. Just, what about you? I would just add that, uh, I mean, I think that, that at the shrug, there's an important dimension of that whole story, which is about free will. I'm mm -hmm. actually giving right. a talk at this conference on that very issue, but um, I mean, I, I agree that's the first place somebody should start, but if they're interested in following up, uh, learning more about just the kind of uh, the nonfiction uh, technical philosophy end, Dr. Leonard Peikoff's book, Objectivism and Philosophy of Ayn Rand, is mm -hmm. a really important systematic presentation of the philosophy. And if they want to learn more about the issue of free will, um, they should probably, there's, a, there's a, good, a really good short talk that Ankar did that's on YouTube. I think it's called Free Will versus Science. Oh. Uh, wait, that's with that's Dave the, Rubin. I think that was well, there's a Dave Rubin yeah. one, and then there's one seizing the reins yeah. of your mind, All right. um, and uh, that probably gives references to a number of other sources on, right. on issues. People. Well, thank you very much thank for you. for sitting down here and talking uh, to us. I hope that with this, more people that you know are looking for answers can find it here. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ankar. Thank you. And to you guys, stay tuned because we're coming with more of this series to understand objectivism from different perspectives.